Hi everyone, it's Marcy Denning here from Stampin' with Marcy. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada and I sell all of the products I share with you here. Thank you for joining me for another card making tutorial. Today I am creating a super cute card with the Dino Days stamp set and the coordinating um, Dino Dies. This stamp set is so adorable. It reminds me of this dinosaur here, reminds me of Barney from Barney and Friends, a TV show that was back in the early 90s. Uh, my three children all went through the Barney phase as my children were born in 1991, 92, and 94. So we went through Barney three times. So as soon as I saw this stamp set, I was like, oh my goodness, I need to get that and do some Barney cards for my kids. As well, this little dinosaur here looks like Littlefoot from Land Before Time. And this one here, like the uh, Littlefoot's mom. So let's get started in creating. I'm going to be using Gorgeous Grape, Granny Apple Green, Pool Party, and Sahara Sand. Now all of the um, product measurements and product links can be found on my blog. I will link the blog post, post below in the description. So please click on that to uh, head on over there to see what um, all the directions in that are for this adorable card. They're not too awful difficult. So, oh, there's a sparkle there, okay. So I'm starting by inking up my dinosaur in the gorgeous grape. Now, Barney was a purple and green dinosaur, but this dinosaur doesn't have a area to um, have a green tummy like Barney did. So we're just going to go with the purple. Okay, so I'm going to just move this out of my way for a moment and bring in my big shot to die cut my dinosaur. So yes, I will be creating three cards for my children as they each went through the Barney phase. So they're each going to get a Barney card. How fun is that? Okay, so I'm just lining up my die here and our new dies actually cut a whoop it's being a little uncooperative our new dies actually cut a finer closer border around the die than our previous dies which is fabulous okay out of my way and there we have it see a nice small border around that not too awful big okay so we're going to put Barney off to the side and we are going to do some sponging on this large die cut circle. Um, this is from the Stitched Shapes. It's the largest of the circle dies and I'm using some Pool Party. And I always, when I pick up my ink, I always dab off a little bit and I start so that I don't have a big blob. I start making that circle before I ever touch that sponge to my cardstock. I don't want a ton of color, but just, 
just a hint of maybe a blue sky, a blue background. There, I think that'll be good. Set that aside. Bring in my, back in my paper pierce mat to stamp. Now I'm going to give my background a tree. And because there's no um, sky, no uh, green on Barney anywhere, I'm going to add in that green by um, pulling in some granny apple green with the leaves of my palm tree. So, and with photopolymer stamps, you can bend them as you want. They don't have to be straight up and down the way that they um, come. So, because I want my tree to just be a little curved, because sometimes you see those palm trees are a little curled. Okay, let's close that and now I'm going to bring in my leaf and my granny apple green so my Barney doesn't have any green but we've got some green with the palm tree leaves and you just build it like this starting in the center and just bringing them out and I want this to be a very full looking tree maybe one more here okay so it's gonna sit like that and then we're going to bring in our little piece of um, Highland Heather. My colors, I forgot to tell you, my colors are Gorgeous Grape, Highland Heather, and Purple Posy. And I've already gone ahead and run this Purple Posy through the Subtle Embossing Folder to give it that, um, that nice, soft, textured look. Okay, I'm going to stamp my sentiment in the um, Gorgeous Grape as well. And this is just a little snippet of cardstock, just a scrap. I love this sentiment. I love you this much. It's more than it looks. Isn't that so cute? So cute. Okay, we're put that off to the side. Okay, so let's start building our card. So we're going to move this off. Move this in. Then we're going to fold and burnish our score line. glue these two layers together using my Tombow liquid adhesive. This is a new bottle so I don't have to shake the daylights out of it to get it to start running. Okay. There's our layer, and then I love how the three of these purples look together. Okay, so next up, we're going to take some of the purple, the tri-colored ribbon. It's got 
all three purples, the Gorgeous Grape, Highland Heather, and Purple Posy. So what we're going to do, if I can find my snail right here, we are going to take, so this is the top right here. We're gonna take the snail. This is all I really use my snail for. I'm in um, Southwestern Ontario and it gets very humid and my office is in the basement so and basements are always a little more damp so um, I find that the snail doesn't always have a good solid stay life if you know what I mean Okay, how does that look? Nope, that's a smidge too high. And this is why using the snail and the uh, silicone craft sheet are fabulous. Because you can flip your work over to take a look at it for your placement and then flip it back and not have that be stuck to your okay I think that is going to be that's going to be good not have it stuck to your work surface so taking my ribbon snips and cutting that off so I'm not wasting any and now Grab my dimensionals. And I've told you before, I really like my dimensionals. Although I think I need to. That piece of ribbon is just going to keep popping up. So let's just... There. Now it's down. Um, I like to use a lot of dimensionals. So don't be alarmed. Okay. So now I'm going to figure on my placement. Take my glue, my uh, backing off. Of course, when you're doing it on a video, it never wants to cooperate and be quick like you'd like. So if you are new to my YouTube channel, I would love it if you would um, subscribe. The subscribe button is below. Um, please give me a thumbs up if you enjoy my video and share it with any of your crafty friends. I'm always on the lookout for new crafty friends, customers, and teammates. So let's just put this. It's going to go right here. And we're going to put that right there. And now Bernie. Bernie needs some dimensionals. So let's get some dimensionals on him. And then I've already used all of the inside ones of my little mini baby dimensionals. So what I'm doing is cutting on the strip here. cut down so that I'm not going to waste any because I want three little ones and I don't want to start a new package till my old package is completely done. Two and we don't want to waste anything. I just don't want any part of Bernie's mouth or his tail to go saggy on me. 
All right, so peel these off. And Barney's going to go right here. Now, let's put this on with just some liquid glue. Make sure you don't put it on upside down. Scooch that over just a bit. Now, the final... Um, Step. I have some of the heart epoxy droplets here and I have colored it with my dark Highland, he Highland Heather stamp and blend. So all you do is take your blend and color over that. Give it a moment to dry. You put a couple layers on. I wish Stampin' Up! had a um, darker like a gorgeous grape blend but they don't so all right so I'm just going to put that I'm using my take your pick tool and I want my heart to be just off center there and now we cannot forget the inside so let's just move this to the side for a second and my insert paper is here. Let's open this gorgeous grape back up. Let's ink up Barney one more time. And let's stamp the bottom left corner just like that. Close this so I don't accidentally put my hand in it. A little bit of glue and there we have it a super fun purple dinosaur card for all you viewers out there that remember Barney this one is for you Thank you so much for stopping by today. I truly appreciate it. And um, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator that you currently work, work with and you live in Canada, I would love the oppor opportunity to earn your business. Pop on over to stampinwithmarcy.com to uh, see uh, all of the measurements and product links. Thanks so much. Bye for now.